Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> you it's get the, the best of both worlds. Let's go. We're wrecking the show. Mm, no, I'm not sure. It is the best. Hello, Filipino. people. Welcome back. Filipino OSTs, babe. We had a blast checking these out last time. And we actually, did. it was probably about last year around this time. Actually, it's true because I that was the last podcast I ever did before I was like, oh, I Before can't she move. snapped it back. And like, look at her. You get the best. I couldn't move, people. I don't think she, you she understand couldn't even the walk, depth. bro. Like, she, she could barely wiggle. You I know? could, b- breathing hurt. And I like, was a very sad boy. He was, but I was even sadder. Because that's my sister, you know? And I, I swore to protect her. Oh and my. I couldn't protect her. Who, who, when, when did you swear? That? I don't know. <laughs> it's it's part of the brotherhood and sisterhood. You sign it. You sign it's, as soon as at birth. <laughs> it's part of the siblinghood. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes, yes. Anyway, so you guys have been recommending a lot of OSTs lately. We don't have any announcements or anything, do we? No. JR is coming to Fitch Fighter Plus. Oh, yes. That's a big announcement. When I first started out, when I dropped my first album, the success was so fast. It was a double platinum album, came out. All of a sudden, I'm like on every billboard in the Philippines. And I kind of fell in this state of just relaxation, of content, of just like, okay, you know, everything's just going to work out. I wish I never fell into that. After my first album, I think it took me a couple years to put out the next one. And, you know, that momentum kind of died down and I wish I would have just stayed on top of it because if I would have had my mentality now about like working hard we got to stay on the ground we got to keep going no, it would have been a different story I would have been a different JR now we also have we're launching new. fucking yeah, announce no, it wait no no wait wait Ladies and gentlemen, we're we gonna have launch. something new coming up but we it's a show. It's we a can't show. tell you what it is yet. But it's a show. I'm it's a new show. Soon. It's going to be right here in the channel. We're also it's going to be a new channel, but it's a show. And it has show. to do with music. It is. But not in the traditional sense of how um, we review stuff and react correct, to stuff. Correct, correct. In the actual musicing sense. Music that will be musicing exactly. in all the ways that we love it. From artists from all over the world. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well say the name. Wow, no. Anyways, let's give us a watch. The first one is called Maria Clara at Ibarra. Maria which, Clara Atibarra. Yeah, Maria Clara, which someone explained that it's a... Uh, That's a very nice name, Maria Clara. It's, it's about a modern person or a Gen Z uh, girl uh-huh. that travels back in time into historical colonial times. Oh, oh my God, I used to love those books back home. And she gets in trouble because she speaks Tagalog and English, but back in the day it would be Tagalog and Spanish. Stop! I love that! So, this is Baba Guhin Ang Buang Mundo, which is by yeah. Julian San Jose. And Julian San Jose it's was like, recommended so fucking much in yeah, this podcast. Yeah, she's like the queen of OSTs. Same as Angeline Quinto. Of course, they're in the title. Of, of course. course, we're going to review them. Let's give us a watch. <laughs> Ooh, clank, oh. clank. Big production. Oh my God, isn't this like being back home? This is so bizarre. Hola, Jose Luis. Señor Jose Luis. Huh. Go Maria Clara. <laughs> She's a nurse. Whoa. Well, you see that? W- yep, definitely. Or an older brother? <laughs> Who's that? The Bible? No, it's the old book. Yes, of course. <laughs> I love that she's wearing a freaking t-shirt. Okay, can we have a moment for Yo, her vocals? You would stand out like a sore thumb. Also, Julianne is eating, bruv. Totally. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, colonial times were different. Yeah. You think you don't have rights now? <laughs> think back then! Wow, look about main characters. Ooh! I love colonial men. <laughs> that was really It's kind of quiet, isn't it? It is. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, the mandolin. Oh, 
Wow, I love this song. Me too. Toma. That's one thing, though. Say you sing. See, because you could kind of play the piano or sing, right? That talent carries over, son. Yeah, Especially if it's in the Philippines. Listen, but the problem is, though, Efra, you would still stick out like a sore thumb. You're like the devil's spawn in back in back. Oh, back but yeah, she's a day. witch. She's she totally 100 a witch. She's 100% a witch. And she time traveled, witchery craftily confirmed. Correct. Or oh, she's insane, you know? Or both. Wow, the freaking that's gorge. Yes, yes. Why are they called monjes? Nuns. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, she's oh, it's her professor. I, I got the reference now. Bro, this song. Banging, banging. Damn. Also, they were minted. I don't think she was, I think. Oh my god, bro! Bro, what a song! Her freaking voice, though. Yeah, Julianne's goated. It's a nun. It's interesting how it changes really poppy all of a sudden. What a song! A two by four, randomly. Oh, her voice is so gorgeous. <laughs> Virgen Maria, Virgin Mary. Oh my god, what Julie, Julie, girl, what? Estás loca, vieja. Yep. Literally. She would 100% <laughs> get burned. Ah, Rocky Nacho. Clara Ad Ibarra. Okay, GMA. yes. Yes, okay. Can I just say yes? Uh, questionable questionable uh, effects in terms of like th th when she time travel. But I don't care because the freaking storyline is so solid. I would totally hear. Well, you hear, didn't, you hear didn't me like out. that effect? No, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hear me out. You know what I found weird? The changes of rhythm every now and then. It went uh, from a. I really like that. That section is clean. To be honest, that song is long. That's a long song for oh, really? Four an minutes. opening. I think it. No, no, but that's because this is a full version. Course, I'm pretty no, sure for the actual opening stuff, it's like 30 seconds. Yeah, but I think the fact that it, ch it changes rhythm Three and it times. changes feels yeah. so constantly, it's because you are also going through changes in the storyline, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes so, sense for them yeah. to do that. Anyways, expand on your point. I do apologize for interrupting. In terms me. of. Okay, hear me out. Back home. Mm hmm. We used to have like like uh, historical uh, novelas. Hell too, yeah, we did. Where where like you know the Spaniards and like the indigenous people were at war and you know who owned the land. And yeah, that was a like big that. thing back home. That was such a big theme, obviously because being colonized is a big thing. Um, but in, who gives a fuck? We made it. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah, you know the amount of people that didn't make it. You know? <laughs> That's true, true. My whole lineage. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, I'm a winner! Haven't died! <laughs> That's actually correct, Anyways, I mean, if you think about it that hot way. Hot take, cool. I think. Yeah, no, no, but I think to some extent there's truth in that. But like I said, so I used to love the, watching those uh, telenovelas, those teleseries, because they were like the big dresses and like the carriages. And, no like, key, the drip the bang, men, eh? The yeah. men dressed in all these awesome things, riding wild horses that they tamed themselves. <laughs> So cool. I loved it. And then I started reading Jane Austen. And I, well, do you know where this all leads? She's British, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah. She ain't from Venezuela, bro. No, but like... If her name, if she was from Venezuela, it would be like Juvenil. 
Juveni. Juveni. No, 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 no. That's not Austinteno. true. Austinteno. Well, like no, that. but like, <laughs> Juveni Austinteno. <laughs> Austentino. <laughs> if she was from Venezuela. Venezuelan people have weird names. No, but that's that's a that's a modern thing. Modern thing. Well, she would be in front of the modern time than going back, right? Yeah, Juveni. Exactly. We have, when you go back dude, in some time. of these names, man, it's gonna make no sense, man. They're like weird mixes between like English names, no, they're Spanish not Spanish names. No, I'll tell you what it is. The, it's the combination of names between the parents and like the the grandparents. Like they try to mash names yep. together. So like, <laughs> like for example, my mom thought it would be a brilliant idea <laughs> to mix her name and my dad's mother's name and make one name. What the fuck is that? Yelerta? What is no. that? <laughs> Yelibeth. <laughs> oh, man, what the fuck? My mom thought that was a viable Yelly name Beth. choice. Yelibeth. And I was like, oh. Sounds like a really messed up cotton candy or something. It just or like sounds a candy like a from... pony name. You know, like, Yelly my Beth. little pony. <laughs> Yelibeth. Yeah, actually, you nailed it. And yeah, but low-key low colonial drip bang. Uh, totally. Especially for men, like, that shit was banging. Because yeah. the women want, it's a bit conservative, isn't it? Well, yeah, well, it's just so cool. It's like cool. if you showed a bit of skin. Oh, <gasps> scandalous, an ankle. <laughs> to be fair, I do miss that a little bit. What? I remember the old time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have the lyrics, by the way. It says, the whole world would change. That's the name of the, of the song. When will this conflict end? My present that's confusing. I'm hoping I can still overcome this. Watch out. One day, just you wait. Getting farther away from the world I'm moving in. I'm going to the past, observing, recognizing different kinds of people I'll find. The heartbeat is what guides me. Why is he so passionate? Learning from the past. Well, it's like, uh, it's colonial, you know? <laughs> I'm like that person in the plaza. <laughs> and the prophet. Well, we'll relax. Like, like, anyway, learning from the past. Finding out that every, from every situation, lessons that I'll bring, that I'll bring with me. Until the tomorrow of my life, I can take on all the challenges to change the whole world. Change it. How can you change the whole world? What the hell are you going to learn from colonial times? That people got burned alive? <laughs> Colonialism? You know? That you could... You Forget about diversity. Fuck that. Suck on that thumb, Disney. You know what I mean? We didn't have no diversity then. You know? Music was like... Don't let don't let Disney get a hold of Simon Bolivar because it will be a completely different story by the end. I wonder how, like, uh, truthful they are. Like, do they show, like, you know, like, segregation <clears throat> and political stability in that sense and like i suppose you would have series. to because it was it's like the driving force like the whole ambience was yeah, around dude. that anyways right? dude if you're watching this motherfucker we made it <laughs> we, we made got past it. that time and you should check you should thanks your ancestors you know yeah for surviving you, Thank me, you, for you that. got your you got stronger you know they can never stop us all we do is win anyways uh can what has happened be changed <laughs> will what has happened tomorrow be changed before you do something, analyze carefully. Think, <laughs> <laughs> think of others too, not just yourself. Mm -hmm. The heartbeat is what guides me. Oh, 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 I see, oh. interesting. So it's to a certain extent like uh, her own monologue, her own realizations, I must conclusions say, after the journey. I must say, musically though, whoever Banging. arranged that, God's work. Obviously, her voice is the driving force, the absolute heroic essence of the song is julianne san jose yeah she without her this falls apart a gorgeous driving energy throughout the whole track yeah. and honestly even though the song it's a little convoluted with the changes on tempo obviously alluding to the whole we're traveling back and forth in time i love the fact that her voice is a constant it's like the only thing that keeps itself true throughout the journey I agree gorgeous i i, I give that a lot of credit. It's very yeah. well done, and I and Gee I do think mate. Julianne San Jose really carried. The music producer was Rocky Gacho, Rocky Gacho, and then the music lyrics and were arranged by Simon Eltan. Oh, um, we've heard of him before. Yeah. Anyways, very cool. Let's have a look at uh, SB19. So Pablo and Josh did a song, okay, an OST for this the series called The Iron Heart Season 2. Ooh, Season 2. Words and music by Jonathan Manalo and Rock Santos. Also, we Jeremy G. Love. Oh, hey, look at Jeremy G. Wow, cool. Nice creds. Anyways, nice creds let's give us a go. So this is ABS. Yep. Wow, what the fuck? Is it ABS? It is. Uh, okay. Oh, damn. 
Eh, Pablo. Yes, sir. Oh. This is quite modern. is behind it all. Ooh, the layers are gorgeous, though. Yeah, he's not a superhero. Yeah, the freaking layers are gorgeous. Nice, Adeline. Ooh, the electric guitar in the background too. Sheesh. Toma. Damn, that seemed pretty hard. That was hard. A whole lot of cocaine, bro. I like the lyrics too. This is nice. This reminds me of a little bit of like a song that Jackson One could pull off to, like that style. It's a nice uh, martial arts sequence. Yeah. See, uh, it's something. Yeah, it's interesting because si no kaba. It's interesting because even in the music production and stuff like that, there was a sense of definitely modernism. Mm -hmm. um, this is what I call fantastic realism. Yeah, to some extent, it was fantastic realism. Especially because they, they decide mm -hmm. to do that. Like, they, they have a lot of, like, uh, what do you call them? Climax inducing moments and uh, big exertions of emotion in specific moments through the arrangement, not necessarily through the vocals. Of course, what Pablo is doing is like, you know, that's nice range, showcasing nice range. Um, but it, it is, like, specifically made to lead you to believe that the imagery you should be recreating in your head when you think of this is superhero-esque. It's of someone winning battles where he's the underdog, um, which is essentially the hero story, right? Um, <laughs> so, very interesting. I'm always, I'm not that big of a fan of that, like flanger, like uh, double layered sound. I it makes sense here. It does. Because so again, like you're, you're trying to make it very clear. This is like very modernistic. This is brand new. This is like, uh, there's something, something off. Irony, right? It feels like metallic. That's what I was extent. gonna. That was my point of of perception for this particular track, and especially how the vocals were mixed. There was a ton of auto tune. There was a ton of of uh, 
uh, a, the, the flanger doubler effect, and I think it all plays down to the concept of the title of the drama itself. Yeah. It, it being Iron Heart, you want it to be metallic. You want it to have this unnatural feel because it kind of like aligns with the supernatural effects and events that you're seeing through the uh, the storyline too it makes sense as well that they yes. try to mix in english Correct. not try they do <laughs> they mixed in tagalog and english of course given the name like iron heart and something like that you would presume there's also some english playing parts in this I, I think, think it, I think it, the 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 inclusion of English also alludes to the action sequences too. I feel like right. it has a it has a feel of like a big Hollywood uh, action mm. sequence film. So I, I think you would want to include some of that those undertones in there too. In terms of sound production, in terms of like music per se. The song is so gorgeously layered, though. Yeah. Like the, it's the a nice idea, well. yeah, the idea of having like a synthetic, a, a synthetic electric guitar situation happening in the background, which is a constant. It comes back and forth all the time. It's kind of nice because it, it, it piercing through like a bullet sipping through the air. It's so nice, and then you also have all the lower range layered vocals from both Josh and Pablo oh, no. where you have you have the like depth and it comes in certain specific moments and if you don't pay enough attention it kind of goes under the table you you wouldn't it be able to recognize it that's what gives it that fullness and that girth you know yeah it's very nicely done it's funny how Pablo is like he is I think on paper the lead rapper of SP19 I would put him as in the vocal line like he is just so incredibly and then talented Josh no, I think Josh is the lead rapper. And I think then so. Pablo is the main rapper. I don't know what this word I don't know what this is. I'm just reading it here. Uh. Uh, but it's funny. I don't pay attention to that much when it comes to this main team because I think pretty much all of them can do everything. Yeah, they're uh, very... But especially very Pablo. Good. Like, that guy has insane, like, uh, music ability and very, very multifaceted. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, nice subdivision. I didn't know it happened. That is sick, though. When did this happen? This year, in August. Oh! August the 31st is was released. Shout out to all the people involved in this yeah. production because that was a very, very nice. Let's have a look at an oldie, shall we? Okay, yes. Sara Geronimo, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. This is called A Very Special Love. And then a very special love. What's that song that we checked out that I loved by Sara Geronimo? Oh. It's an OST as well. Uh, is it maybe this time? I think it is exactly maybe this <laughs> time, my friend. <laughs> Theme song oh, for it's, this is for a movie. And she's also the lead, okay, in the in the film. Theme song from the movie of the same title. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. A very special love. love. I don't know. If it's the same song I'm singing, but I don't know either. Yeah, I forget she acted acted a ton. Look wow. at her though. Bro. It is, it is the song I was singing. You've heard this? Yes. Whoa, how? Covers and stuff. I've seen her sing this. Maybe? Just part of the stream. Damn, she's really gushing over this geezer. I love the 2000s when the rooms were white and so was the outfit. <laughs> you know that smile? That was the director saying, smile, laugh. Do you see what I mean? No. Yeah, bro, that milk looks expired, blood. If it, if the, if the, if the cereal is not, you know, sinking, that <laughs> fucking milk, bro, that shit is cream. No. Which it's... means it's expired. Do you know what? If it, it has those clusters. I've learned that that is not <laughs> drinkable. Or you could just do what normal people do and all people should do. Which is? And it's stop fucking drinking milk. <laughs> be normal. How about that? Don't be a psychopath. <laughs> no, you, you don't remember when we were on set and they used to put PVA glue? <laughs> yep. On shit, yeah. Make it shiny. And orange juice, you're gonna get the shits, man. <laughs> <laughs> Efra, shut up. <laughs> nice. 
I miss old TV. Me too. Yeah, bro, she's still hot, man. Gorgeous, just look at her, though. Ah, oh, to die for. Yeah, bro, she's attractive as both. Oh, oh my god, I had that phone, the razor phone. Turns out this video is actually about a stalker. And, and he, he doesn't know who she is. <laughs> Imagine a dark twist to the story. A very special type of love. Please love me. Please love me. <laughs> At the window. <laughs> At the window. Well, he doesn't know who she is. He's already married. But she's just outside with a knife. Looking at pictures of him like, oh, he's looking at me right now. Damn, dude, that shit dark as fuck. Who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a funny concept. She keeps looking at things that are not there. What a song. Yeah, I feel like this is a big classic. It is. Oh, the leggings with the long shirt, t shirts shirt situation. Whoa. Oh. See, it's all magazines and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a drum machine. 2005 was alive, bro. It was the time to be alive. I think it is. Just what about the razor phone? Oh, and he's in the mural, naturally. Whoa. Dude. Oh, they're both there. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. That makes it less weird. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The cast of a very good girl. <laughs> a very special... Oh, it seems how to make a hit in the Philippines when it comes to a movie. A very something, you know? No, it just puts out a hit on him in it. I just have yeah, to Yeah, I mean, say, she is yo. a hit maker, mate. Who? I wonder how many hits she actually has. Why do I know this song so well? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't think we've ever heard that. I don't think we have. Have we? How many Sarah hits does Sara Jeronimo have? Okay. She has 13 studio albums. That's a nice picture. Four video albums, one live album, one compilation album, four soundtrack albums, and 31 singles. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> wow. Uh, tenth studio album, Expressions, Certified Platinum. Mm -hmm. uh, 2014, she was a best selling Filipino artist in 22nd World Music Awards. Oh, the breakup playlist. Oh my God, I watched that on Netflix. Billboard charts. This was the breakup playlist was in the Billboard charts. This was Piolo Pascual, right? He did. Uh, I watched it. What else? Just because uh, he's so hot. He picked up number nine world albums. Yeah, dude, she has hit, bro. She does. Oh Heronimo's yeah. album's Perfectly Imperfect. Oof, that's very 2000s, isn't it? Or maybe 2014. Huh? Well. Uh, and The Great Unknown have each one album of the year at the Awit Awards. Holy God, damn, bro. Viva Red. Pop star, a dream come true. Five times platinum. <laughs> Sweet 16, two times platinum. Becoming platinum. Taking a fight, taking flight, platinum. <laughs> Just me, platinum. Your Christmas girl, platinum. <laughs> Music and me, fucking platinum. One heart, oh, would you look at that? Five times platinum. <laughs> Pure OPM classics, three times platinum. Expressions, platinum. Perfectly imperfect, platinum. The Great Unknown, Platinum. And this is 15 and me. Who knows? Platinum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who what knows? the hell? Star for a Night, 2003. Six times Platinum. 120,000 physical sales. CD and cassette. Ooh, Wild, yes. God damn. Wow. 
Aww. the breakup playlist did 30,000 physical, which I think is like what? Two times platinum. No, I know, but that's like uh, it's like it's like 70,000 digital, something like that. Streams. Oh, okay. I can't, it's not streams. It's something else. Oh, OK, because um, there's a certain amount of streams that translates now into a physical copy. Oh, yeah, I remember what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember uh, but I don't know that. what it is. I forgot. Because that's why the sales in physicals went down so much, because now people like one stream is an equivalent to one sale, of course, in physical. Um, Okay, but that's actually so crazy. Wild. How many movies did she do? Did she do? Has she done? Has she done? Let's have a look. <laughs> Sara <laughs> Heronimo. <laughs> movies. How many? <laughs> that's how I talked to Google. That's why at I least six. six. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Google. <laughs> all right. Why not? All right, that's good enough. A very me. special love. That's one of them, you know? Miss Granny. Miss Granny? Yeah, it's the first one. Look. What? No, 2018. What was the first one she did? I think it was very special love. Is it? Or maybe, maybe, nah, nah, maybe nice. this time? I don't know, man. 1995. Catch me if you... If, catch me what? I don't know. I don't know. What are you talking about? Uh, the, it's catch me something. Catch me. Oh, catch, catch me. I'm in mean love. love. Oh, Who's good. that with? Gerald Anderson. Gerald oh, and Anderson. Matteo Guccivelli, that guy. Oh, Ma Matteo. Guccicelli. Guccicelli. Yeah, Guccicelli. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's her husband. Is that so? Yeah, Mateo. I think Mateo is her husband. Agents, education, parents. I don't think it is. Mateo. Oh, no. Mateo. <laughs> Kundacilla, Vicilelli. Kundacilli. I think that's... I spouse? Think that's what does spouse Hero. mean? Like your wife? Yes. All right. Well, there you yeah. go. Damn, you would think I knew what spouse means. Oh, she didn't no. know what fiancé was <laughs> up until like a few months that ago. That means you're promised to someone, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Sounds quite colonial, though. <laughs> 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 Anyways, the next one is... Found a very special love in you. Julian San Jose again, man. Ah. This is actually, let, let's give her a break for now. Let's go to Angeline Quinto. Okay, go Angeline. Because right? she go is Angeline. considered like one of the queens of OSTs from the Philippines. Uh, I think she's so cool. This is called Kuning Mona. I don't know. Kuning Mona Kuning Angla Mona. Hat. Ang Angla Hat. I think Kuning Mona. Angla Hat Saakin. 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 Yes. Yeah, Saakin. I think. I'm trying to always think of all the people that like we have met last year I that still sp can't spoke do it. Tagalog and like maybe they wanted a picture or maybe they were saying like hello or something. How would they say that? I was still don't know. Because they to would say sometimes it. like help us. I would be like, am I mm -hmm. saying that correct? That's how I got KC Tandingan correct. I'm mm -hmm. such a big fan, but I kept calling it KC Tandingan. Yeah. And that's wrong. Tandingan. Same as a. Uh, Tawag, <laughs> <laughs> No, but we, we learned that through the promo. The I ad. didn't know. Yeah. True, 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 true. Let's give it a watch, yeah? Kinung mona. I don't know how to say that. Min sang lang kita libigin is the name of the. Libigin? I think there's an L. Ah, libigin. Libigin? Oh, cool. <laughs> Whoa, that's raw. May gusto ka sa king mahal. How old is this? May balaka. Why is it so dark? Hey, Guys, where are you? Hiding in a cave? That's that guy. They were <laughs> in a cave. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know that word. Sigurado magwawagika. Are you hearing that? The as flapping. Well? The fl what the fuck is the flapping? <laughs> I don't know. Stop. <laughs> Maybe it's the video. Whoa. This has big guerrilla vibes. <laughs> Colombian vibes. <laughs> Wow, how did you say that? Kuning Mona. Wow, Angeline. Girl. The dress as well. She looks very good. Usap ko sa iyo, magmahal ka na lang ng iba. 
She was wearing no makeup. Yeah, very, most of them are. Girl! Drop the skincare! Yeah, no makeup, girl! Wow, I love this song! They just don't make him like this, do they? <laughs> In terms agree? of ballads. I, I agree. I think... Th the, I think only, the only artist that I think do really good ballads lately, sorry for pausing it so much, is like... SB19 has like really good ballads. They're like proper new generation, proper pop. They do have really good ballads, you know. Hangang Sahu mm -hmm. Lee, Lee Ham, Fucking Ilao. Uh, what else have they got? Um, yeah, I think that's basically it. I, that I can think of the top of my Mapa. head. Mapa. That's Mapa. very, that's very yeah. modern though. Ben and Ben don't really have ballads per se. They have folk music. Mm -hmm. uh, Moira de la Torre does have some ballads that bang for sure. <laughs> she's another one. Yeah. You know? But yeah. she's been in the industry now for like 15 years. Oh yeah, that's... Uh, that's... It's been 19, they're babies. They're less than five. <sighs> About six, I think, something like that. To be honest. Who else does ballads? Yeah, I don't know. I would I would say Eric Santos has really good ballads, but I don't know if he like I, I don't know what he's dropped new. Ah, true, true, true. Yeah, Eric, like, Sa Eric Santos. Eric Santos yeah. would be like just, my go-to balladier, kind of like modern day. He just went to the uh, Wish Bus. We haven't checked that, that performance. I'm interested. Maybe that's a ballad. Maybe it is. Yeah, but I think in genuine like it's like old OPM ballads. And <laughs> and that is not part of an old repertoire. That it's like being uh, a classic. Yeah, no, like no, it's no. not a, like this a new, was the classic. Yeah, like a new song that it was I don't know uh, written for today. Yeah, kind of thing. Who's you know? done? What do you think? Who has done the best ballads of? Let's say for example this year. Hmm. That would be good. We could do a, a 2023 podcast. Yeah, you know, totally. I'm Best really ballads of this year. Exactly. OPM, obviously. Yeah. Mm, totally. Exactly. Yeah, none of these girls are wearing makeup. I like this. Or very little. They're like wearing blush or something, but they're not like I caked. Like yeah, yeah. I think the nature of the show as well. But look at that. That's a fresh face. Whoa, he's jealous. Angelique. Cook you. That's a proper dirty eye, <laughs> Dirty look. The drama between these people is deep. Nice. <laughs> nice. Beautiful, too. I love his track. Yeah. <laughs> Snobby seventh. We love a seventh. We love a seventh. Okay, can we have a moment for her though? Yeah, Angeline eight, bro. She murdered. Yeah, th th these four have beef that runs so deep. <laughs> maybe it's because they cry a lot, so maybe what's the point of wearing makeup? No, I think it's the theme of the of the hmm. telestatic. They're like, you know, law enforcement women. True, true. So I don't think... 
Okay. Well, say let's say talk that. About say this. that to C- CSI Vegas or something. <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah. These girls uh, look like models. Like they, I believe them, and they're pretty, but I believe them. They're they gorgeous. Be. The freaking skin is flawless. Yeah, but have a punchable. Like, show me that at least you have like some scars, or, like you've been punched or something. They still had two baby skin. I don't believe yeah. it. No, but I. Well, here's the thing. Here's what I give them cauliflower ear. <laughs> make them make them <laughs> commit to the role. Here's what I picked up from the storyline in in four minutes and thirty seconds. There's two couples. Yeah. Right. Two girls. That hate each other because they're stealing each other's men. Whoa. So, like, this girl is in love with this guy. Uh-huh. And this girl is in love with that guy. Yes. So, they're, like, you know, intertwined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But m- the thing is, like, she hates the other girl for, like, being involved with her man. But, like, mm. I think the it goes both ways. Also, can I just say, though, why not leave each other's partners and like <laughs> go for whoever you want and, like go a- with the ABS problem. has 45 million subs bro <laughs> what the fuck that is that is huge that's ridiculous bro <laughs> lend me some <laughs> jesus yeah that, that's the name of it i found the lyrics kuning mona angla yeah that's the fucking chorus yeah i think that series is called jeremiah Very Take cool. everything from me. That's what it's. Ooh, okay. That's maybe some reason I can learn. You know? Kuning Mona. Okay. How do I say I want to love you so bad? I'd let you take everything away from me. That's, wow. that's fucking reason, bro. And I reckon in Tagalog that would bang. You know, let's have a like, shall we? Tagalog to English. Actually, the other way around. I, I don't know English. <laughs> 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 Do you? I want to love you so bad, so bad that <laughs> you that you'll take everything away from me. What? That you, yeah, you 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 take every that you take till you take everything away from so me. So bad until you take. Uh, that's a fucking fucked up toxic ass love. This <laughs> <laughs> everything from away from me. All right. Do it. it Show me your it magic. Didn't, it didn't what the hell, it. Google? Go do your thing. 21, do your thing. What the hell, man? I want to love you so bad that until you take Hey, everything. that's right. That's fucking... What the fuck, man? No, saying it with that Tagalog, like, uh, with a Tagalog accent doesn't actually make it. Yeah, what it. the hell is wrong with Tagalog. you, dude? What the, what? <laughs> it doesn't actually make it Filipino. What do you mean? The fuck, Google? No, um... What? It did it at the beginning, though. Yeah, dude, what is this? I don't know. You, Whatever, you, you bro. F, you F did it. Anyways, you're like the one I love. Oh, that. My, 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 my gusto casa ka sa king mahal. My gusto ka sa king mahal. Ka sa king mahal. My gusto sa ka, ka sa king mahal. Fuck's sake. You got a plan <laughs> to take her away. Just from looks, you already got the upper hand. If you caught her, you'll win her for sure. I'm asking you, begging, take everything from me, just not her. Take everything from me, just not my love. I know you could make her love you. Steal her from me. I ask you, just love someone else. Take everything from me, just not my love. This would kill my heart if you steal her from me. I have someone to introduce to you. She's as beautiful as my love. You could just love her instead. Oh, come on, you guys, stop. This guy's a wuss, though. <coughs> well, he's trying What to fight. What the fuck, dude? This fight. guy is getting his girl stolen by this other guy. And, and he's, he's willing begging. to negotiate? <laughs> and he's begging. What Here, the fuck, dude? How about I give you something better? Yeah, dude, what the hell's wrong with you? Sell that shit like a man, yeah? And murder him. Oh. I'm asking you. I'm only joking. I don't condone murder. I only condone uh, no. soft <laughs> bullying if he is trying to steal your girl. <laughs> That's fair no, play, right? Please, please, guys, don't don't take this out Fuck of Fuck that guy who's <laughs> gonna take my chick, bro. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm gonna make your life hell. And I'm also living that hole. Because if she's playing along, But she, she belongs know. to the streets then. Oh my god, yo, guys. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Game? This What toxic, 100. <laughs> dude, my advice to that guy is fucking become a toxic as balls, dude. No. I yeah, just, 100%. Just step away, dude, step you, away. Yeah, to be, be honest, the be the guy. bigger man. Be the bigger man. Do you know? And ruin both of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't condone this. This is all said and done for comedic purposes and 
for, for, representations for how I've lived my life. We're doing it for the plot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you, begging, take everything from me. Just not her, just not her. And then he proceeds to say that again. And thanks. Damn. That's pretty brutal, dude. I would not want to be in that position. And but if mean, that happens to you, though, seriously, if that happens to you... Step away. Yeah, you just leave the get girl out. and leave the guy. Get out. Not for you, son. Just get out. It's not worth it's the headache. Can I just say... It's However, just though, this song, listening to this, if you're going through that, oof. No, but here's the thing. Here's what I think. Here's what I think. If you stay in this type of relationships, there has to be some borderline masochistic <laughs> the masochistic inclination within yeah. you. Well, it's like, also... It's also come on, step out. It's also the question that would beg an answer would be, be would you rather yeah. mm -hmm. not be lost, not be loved and forgotten? Okay. Or be hurt and known and acknowledged? No, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, to that I said. Strip your heart, baby. Yeah. Just, uh, just you got a lot of hurt. work to do on yourself, just son. Just let it hurt for a bit. Anyways, let's have a look at Julian San Jose again. This is, um, You Are My Everything. Got very requested well. You are well. my everything. Wait, because it was, uh, I think That's it's That's the Descendants of the Song uh, theme song. Something like that, I think so. But they did it in, um... Wait, wait a second, because, um... Who, who is it that sings it? Gummy? Might be. From Korea. Korea? Korea? I don't remember. Yes, yeah, descendants of a song. When I see stars, I think of you. Whoa. Yo! <laughs> Boy. Then I always pray. This is that movie with Vincenzo Casano, right? Is that, that a series? Yeah, it's the. It's the I, I love Vincenzo Casano. Wow. To love you forevermore. Okay, girl, what? When I feel you in my heart. Oh, they did, they did a then Filipino version, the whole thing. Yeah. Julian! I will always love you. Damn. And I'm waiting for you. The cast is pretty good, though. Was it Gummy? I think so. I think that's what I said. I we'll check. Yeah, honestly, the cast is pretty close to the original. Genuinely, bro. Dude, she's so good, bro. Just because he's hot. She has a really nice timber, doesn't she? Uh, it's, like, it's, it's really likable. No, it's so it's warm and it's feminine and it's literally so it's like gooey. It feels comforting. I absolutely adore everything about it. It's borderline indulgent. Like you feel like you are kind of like letting something really too good 
kind of take over. And she has a really good grasp as well on like her own sound, which is really oh, yeah. interesting. I don't know how long she's been doing this for. She looks like she's been doing it. I mean, she sounds like she's been doing it her whole life or like 20 years at least. But she looks like she's 17. So it's, it's really hard <laughs> yeah, to it's judge. Kinda hard. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do. And actually, we don't know that much actually about Julianne San Jose. Just that she's one of the most sold albums ever in the Philippines. Correct. But apart from that... That's a lot. <laughs> that says a lot. <laughs> I'm really impressed with her. Damn, dude. Yeah. We I presume she's like late twenties because of the maturity in the sound. Maybe. He's a good actor. Yeah, he's hot. He's out here with a whole wife and kids. I bet you. <laughs> That's a yes, well. Banker of a song. Do you know people can watch you? Banker of a song. Ah, oh, uh, yeah, that's that's a Filipino. Just in case you forget, you yeah, were... that's a Filipino run right there, baby. That's an OPM run right there. Who 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 arranged this? Simon arranged... Eltan again. Yeah, he is. Simon. Simon is like the man. Simon, bro. Simon is the man. Who sang the original? The original Let's I have think, a look. I think it's Garmin. You are my everything. Um, yeah, it's Garmin, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Yes. Also, what a vo voice. Yeah. She's really interesting. It's similar to Julianne Steak, yeah, though. Yeah, I was going to say, she's interesting because she does have seem to have the same timbre as Julianne. Very, very freaking cool. It's intriguing, right? And thought-provoking how... So you look at someone with the same sort of text... Not texture, but timber. Timber, mm -hmm. In two different industries, right? And two different industries prioritize two different things given the crowd and the public and the market that you're selling the product to. In Korea, ballads do immensely well, similar like in Philippines. But Korean ballads, especially female Korean ballads, are a lot more breathy with, mm -hmm. the, with the techniques that the female singers tend to utilize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, this is now immensely well taught in K-pop uh, training periods during this uh, making of Korean groups. And for ballad artists, the people that they look up to, especially if you're a girl, are going to have these sounds. You're going to replicate it. It's now stuck in that loop. But that's always for a good while going to be the Korean sound, probably for the next 30 years. Um, in the Philippines, you they don't uh, uh, they reward the breathiness in yeah. ballads as much. No, they prioritize a clear tone before anything else. Because... Of the belting nature of mm -hmm. the old hits that the Philippines has had that have shaped the industry and the pinnacle voices like the Velasquez, the Regine Velasquez, the other power vocalists. In in Korea, power vocalists are they obviously still have the range, but they're characterized by this breathiness. In the Philippines, the the what do you call it? The birit, birit, no birit. <laughs> uh, the belting singers that have shaped the industry are characterized by clear tone mm -hmm. and range in that clear tone. Not even in falsetto. They like them to belt that fucking G5 sharper to the fifth in the fucking octagon. <laughs> Clearly, you know what I mean? With your whole chest, girl. Exactly. <laughs> and you better not miss, dog. Like the Filipino crowd is actually, because they're so well versed, given how the industry has been shaped, by these pinnacle voices, we stand in the shoulder of giants, as I always say. The actual crowd is very well versed. In my opinion, one of the best well versed uh, when it comes to actual singing, because they've also all tried it to a certain extent, even if it's to take the piss. Um, so this is quite similar in Asia. That's why, to a certain extent, vocals in Asia are a bit higher than, especially pop vocals in Asia, mm -hmm. are generally, as a rule of thumb, higher level 
than the ones in the West. Because in the West, there isn't really a culture of singing. This isn't part of the everyday life here in London. Right, this right. isn't part of the everyday in New York, in Los Angeles. No, no, no. Maybe Los Angeles, but also homeless people part of Los Angeles. So it depends on the location. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, well, that was such a dig for no reason. In in Los Angeles is a crazy place, bro. I would, I would moment. just like to say, though, in terms of like... Uh, comparing these two singers in the same song for the same feel, the same arrangement, it's kind of cool because it, it, you're not doing it to compare uh, uh, ability or... Oh, they're both or a They're just incredible in their in their own sense and exactly what is needed of the track they were able to deliver. It also given the, the type of audience that was uh, perceiving the, the, the finished result. But I, loved, a part. but I love the idea of having the same tonality kind of singers it still maintain their own individuality because this is a really good example of what emulation can provide but at the same time what your own sound and your own mannerisms bring to the table mm. and in in julianne's case because her mannerisms are so um seasoned she has been doing this for a long time there is an absolute recognizable color to what she does and i absolutely love that because it also gives an individual take a new perspective in the story and that's that's literally one of the coolest things about covers, I think. And she's 29. I knew it. Yeah, I knew cool. it to me because I mean, to me, that but sounds look at her though. She looks 17. <laughs> Max 21. Yeah, like you, that's yeah. a 21 year old right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no way in hell she's older than me. No. And she's wow. She's older than you as well. She is How crazy. Yeah, a year older than me. I was going to say she looks great because that sound she has reminds me a lot of a sound and the level of maturation you need after a decade. Correct. That that sound to me has a decade of work. And 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 a decade in the industry, not not a decade of just singing. It's like basically just in the line of fire. If yeah, yeah in the market. Yeah, yeah, in the industry, in the market, selling your voice, selling your product. Because <coughs> one thing is like singing for ten years, and then another thing is making music commercially for ten years. And selling. <laughs> selling and selling very well. well yeah, <laughs> selling, and selling well. immensely well. So. Yeah, to me, she sounds like she's been doing this at least at that high level for next, minimum next, 10 years. Next, next, I'm excited. That's it. That's it? That's all we have, I that's think. That's all we have? Yeah, I think that's all we have. Damn, I, I was having a blast. What do you mean? I also want to be immensely careful because yeah, no, um, copyright. Mm -hmm. and Gosh, I, I, I was having a blast. Again, we have a ton of contacts in music. Very little when it comes to this, re uh, like... World. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't know anybody. So I don't want the podcast to get blocked. I'd much yeah, rather if we can only check we out We can five. do another part if you guys are interested. I had yeah. such a great time. Yeah, shorter than usual, but yes, yeah, because I don't know. And last time it was quite difficult actually to get it out last year. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you know, we haven't really been building this year because the ob objective was not to build, to get healthy, you know, <laughs> Correct. to get stronger. And also, I, and I, I think we're, we're slowly working on that. You I can definitely tell how bad it looks. A bit stronger than it. Do you want me to do another leg extension? No, no. You <laughs> show me your jab. Show me your jab. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Show jab, me. jab. Oh, oh shit. Jab, 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 right hand. Jab, jab, right hand. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Come at me, bro. Yeah, Never yeah. mind. Um, I was just going to say, maybe for the next time, or you can comment down below, what the OSTs for men, like male OSTs, I don't think we checked out more more than one today. Yeah, SB19 was the only one. Uh, so I would love well, to... Well, Gary Valenciano some... has that Probisciano. Um, uh... That's a lot of Shiano, isn't it? <laughs> Probisciano series thing. We already checked that out. Someone did recommend it, but we mm -hmm. already checked it out. And I think sure. that series actually is going on for seven years, which is it's like a world record or something like that. Seven years is a lot. Well, I remember las telenovelas, las teleseries back home. They didn't have seasons. I would just keep going. So they they would have like 200 episodes. It's <laughs> it's like, like, it's like episode anime. 355. Is that some of those animes like Damn. Naruto that have like 1,000 episodes? And just Dragon think Ball about Z. it. Think about it. Each, each year is 52 episodes because of one episode a week, right? 300 yeah, these episodes, people didn't though. really sleep. They, they, <laughs> what do you mean? They became millionaires, though. They did, yes. Yeah, genuinely, genuine millionaires. Mm. Like, cash, bro. Like Cash. It, it was a great uh, it was a great contract, yeah. though. Think, Think of a it. word that starts with the letter B. Bows, bows, bows. 